Hello, Westmont Christian Church. This is Pastor Jared, and the staff and I, and also the team that has been put together in order to figure out whether we're going to open the church or how we're going to do those things, um, and all the church leadership, we wanted to put together a video for all of you to be able to show you and explain to you the things that we're doing amidst this COVID crisis and how we're trying to take the proper precautions as we open church up in order to help everyone to feel safe and comfortable um, and, and, and able to come back to church. You know, the New Testament uses the word ecclesia, it's the Greek word that's used for church, and that, that word is actually not so much a place as it is the gathering of the people because ecclesia literally means the assembly. And so we are excited to continue to meet as an assembled body. That's the calling that we have in Christ it is to meet in that way. We want to be able to do everything we can so we can continue to do that. And we want to encourage you guys to come and be a part of that as well. But we want you to feel safe in doing so. And so there's a couple of things that we're going to walk through here to help show you if you haven't come to church or if you don't fully understand all that we do, um, all the things that we're doing in order to help everyone to, first of all, be safe and to feel safe and to, to do our best to be able to have a place where people can come and worship with uh, no fear. And so some of those procedures that we do have in place are, first of all, we sanitize the church each and every week, and often it happens twice a week, depending on what is going on here. We have a lot going on in the building, even with, uh, our, even with the normal week being different. But we do have Linda who comes and, and sanitizes the building each and every week. And so that is something that is always covered every time you walk in on a Sunday morning. The, the next thing is that when you first walk in, you're gonna notice that there is some signage uh, in the hallways. You're also gonna notice that there are some hand sanitizer stations. At those hand sanitizer stations, there will be things like extra masks, um, sometimes gloves too, because we know some people want to be able to wear gloves. And we're really encouraging everyone to wear masks, especially with the governor's mandate. And so we, we have some of those things provided. You'll, you'll also notice that there is tape on the ground. This yellow tape that is on the ground is there to help us um, as a visual First of all, to walk directly to the sanctuary uh, and, and to be able to have a six foot social distancing uh, measurement tool to help us to stay uh, with that social distancing procedure. The other thing that you'll notice is that as you walk into the sanctuary, we have the pews laid out a little bit differently. Not that we've moved the pews, but that some of the pews are actually sectioned off. We have some rows that are closed, and those will be um, identified by some red plates and also some signs that help identify those sectioned off, those closed off rows of pews. The next thing you'll also notice is that we're doing offering a little bit different. Offering will be on, we will have a moment for offering, but there will be on the tables outside of each door a place, a box, and, and a sign that, that invites you to give offering in that way. So as you enter or leave the sanctuary, you can place your offering into that box and we will not be passing around offering trays during the service. Another thing you'll notice that is different is that we are doing communion differently. We're not gonna be passing around trays during our communion time, but instead, as you enter to go into the sanctuary, on the tables outside of the doors, you will find individual communion servings that are a cup with a wafer on the top. There's two things you peel off in order to make sure that you can take the wafer first and then also be able to drink the juice from the cup. And that'll happen, you, you just take that with you as you sit and we'll do that all together during the service. Another thing that we're continuing to do 
in order to help people feel safe and to keep people safe is that all of the, the leaders and the volunteers who are working that Sunday um, to help make the worship service a good experience, we're all gonna be wearing masks. This is to help people to feel comfortable, to help kind of stop that spread as well. And so you'll see the leaders wearing masks. We encourage you to do the same, to wear a mask. And we also encourage you to stay home if you're sick. If you're sick and not feeling well, there's no reason to come in. There's no reason to uh, risk your own health or, or, or others as well. And so we encourage you to stay home and, and to do that. But as we as you enter into the sanctuary, you'll notice that the doors will open at 1020 a.m. And at 1020, we just encourage you to go straight in, grab your communion. You can place your offering in as you do that as well, if you'd like. But to go straight in and find a seat in a pew so that we're not mingling around too much and we're, we're just getting into our worshipful place so that we can do that together. When, it's, when the service is over, we encourage you to do the same thing. As the rows are dismissed from the back to the front, we encourage you to get up and to leave and to walk directly outside and hopefully congregate outside where it is safer to do so in the sunlight and um, in the open air and to be able to have those conversations out there rather than in the gathering area outside of our sanctuary. That will help keep everyone safer as well. The, the last thing I want to mention, which is very, very important, that uh, our leadership has been talking about, especially lately, is that if, if we find out, or if you find out, that someone or yourself maybe have been uh, tested positive for COVID, we really, really encourage you to let us know. First of all, we definitely want to be praying for you. We want to be praying for you and your family and whoever else um, is affected by that. But secondly, we need to know that if, if you had come to church but then tested positive for COVID, we need to take the proper procedures as well because there are extra measures um, to sanitize um, extra things as well if, we need to, if it comes to that. We may need to even uh, shut down the church for a Sunday to let things uh, be properly given the proper time and, and sanitization. And so we want to be able to know if you have tested positive for COVID. And then, of course, to stay away if that is the case too and do your self-isolation. But we're excited to continue to provide the opportunity for in-person worship. We want to be able to do this. This is an important thing because it's something that God has called us to do, to gather together, and we do not want to neglect the gathering of the saints. And so we're encouraged to be able to continue to do so. We're glad that ways are provided for us to be able to do that in a safe manner. We're doing everything that we possibly can in order to keep us safe and to keep us um, well. And so we're, we're grateful to God for all these things. We're grateful for each and every person who has contributed to um, the, in the leadership and also those who help keep things clean and, and help by wearing masks and all those things to help one another feel safe. We're encouraged by all those things. We're grateful to God. And so I encourage you all to come. And if you cannot come physically, we do stream the service. And so you can join us on the Facebook live stream as well. Hope to see you.